The announcement allowing top-up payments has come as a relief for Harvey Parry's parents. It took them more than a year to raise the funds to take the three-year-old to America for his new prosthetic legs. But that decision to pay meant they were denied follow-up physiotherapy on the NHS. My son hasn't had physiotherapy since February last year. That's the, that's the situation of the NHS, and that's why I had to go abroad, because if I didn't, you know, he needs physio every week. The government has always argued that allowing patients to top up their NHS treatment with private medicines or care would create a two-tier system. For Harvey, the decision not only means access to much-needed physio and speech therapy, but if the NHS develops advanced prosthetics like the ones he's been fitted with in the US, he'll be entitled to those as well. It's absolutely a decision that's long overdue. It's been a silly parade for people with cancer, whether it's my son with prosthetics or whatever their illness is. If you can find a way to help yourself and treat yourself, why should you be penalised? It's common sense. Harvey, who lost his limbs to meningitis, just wants to lead as normal a life as possible. Today's decision is not a total solution for him, but it will give him more choices about his treatment, which will continue for the rest of his life. Ronke Phillips, London Tonight, Edmonton.